Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film my January favorites because I figured, you know, any time during the beginning of the month of February, it's okay to post January favorites. And I kind of like filmed all of my makeup favorites in my 2014 beauty favorites video, which I can link down below for you. But, um, so I mainly have a lot of like beauty like skincare slash like other favorites but um oh well you know they're still my favorites so let's dive in okay so starting off with some makeup which is really kind of the only makeup I have in my favorites just because I went into so much detail in my 2014 favorites but um so far this month I have been wearing these two lipsticks like non-stop. Um, they're from Colourpop Cosmetics and they're called the Lippy Sticks and I use um, the shades Elayer and Bitchette which I know is an awesome name. <laughs> which actually um, for those of you that know I was searching for a cranberry shade lipstick for my brother's wedding and um, turns out that I dyed my hair shortly after and then that search went on for like a month, but then because my hair was red, then cranberry just didn't look good with it, so I went like a darker red. And anyways, Bitchette was awesome. Um, I can swatch these for you. Let's see. That is Bitchette. And then I have Elair, and that is just a little bit darker. I really like a vampy red lip in the winter and pretty much all year round. I'm that person, I know. But I just really love them and the, the way... Wow, I cannot speak. Sorry, I just finished watching the Grammys and I'm really tired because that was three and a half hours long. That's too long. Sorry, Beyonce. I love you, but I don't want to wait three and a half hours to watch you. Just kidding, I will because I love her. But anywho, these two lipsticks I have been loving. Okay, moving on to some skincare. Okay, so I got a facial um, actually with my mom over Christmas break when I was home in Minnesota. And at the salon, they use all Dermalogica products, which I've kind of, I've gotten like samples from them, um, like when I've made purchases at Sephora before, but I've never really tried their products. And um, I got this like tester travel size kit. It's just, I think it's, what is it? I think it's combination slash like oily skin kit just to like try out their products and I've really really been loving it it's like super duper gentle and um, if you have oily skin or acne prone skin um, like I do um, but also get some dry patchy spots in the winter which sucks I know to have like oily and um, dry at the same time it's awful but I have been loving this so far and um, I'm gonna continue using this and I'll let you guys know but so far I really like all these products I haven't really used the eye cream just because I really like my ginseng um, origins eye cream but yeah okay so then another Dermalogica product that I actually got the full size of even though I know it's tiny but um, this is their breakout control um, spot treatment and it's really great because like if you have acne prone skin you know how there's spot treatments um, but they really really dry your skin out and then you get all splotchy and it's just it's not cute so this stuff actually I don't know it's like with all like natural products I think so it doesn't dry your skin out which is super nice but it like zaps anything right away so it is great okay so next is a teeth whitening um little gel that I've been using quite a lot this month and in December as well getting ready for my brother's wedding I wanted just to like whiten my teeth and get them all nice and pretty. And then I found out about this in one of um, Jaclyn Hill's earliest YouTube videos, like a long time ago. But this is what she used. It's the Dr. George's Dental White, um, 
blah 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 teeth whitening gel and it just comes with like this little mouth guard that you like dip in hot water forms your mouth and you just like squeeze it in there and pop it in for like 30 minutes and it's great and I think it works really well it does burn a little bit on your gums but if you just wipe that off it's totally good and um, I thought that worked really well and I'm gonna continue to use it and see if it continues to work Next is a dry shampoo that I have really been loving, and if you watch any YouTube videos, you know that everyone loves this dry shampoo. It's Batiste, and um, I got this in the dark and deep brown, even though I know I have red hair, but like my roots are like a little bit lighter right now. They're awful, just don't look at them, please. Um, so this is kind of nice because it makes it like a darker brown, which blends in with the darker red really nicely. And um, this makes your hair last for like three days. It's awesome. And it doesn't have a weird smell. The texture is a little like powdery sometimes. And also like if you scratch your head and like in your nails, you'll have like brown and you're like, oh, that's kind of gross. But it works super duper well if you don't want to wash your hair every day, which I don't recommend it. So, um, yes, I highly recommend this dry shampoo. And then next I just have a body wash that I um, really have been using, like, all this last year. Let's see, I got it in August. Um, actually, it was in my brother's shower. He lives in New York. And... Um, I used it in a shower, which I actually thought was his roommate's, but turned out it was his. And um, I was talking about this, and I was like, man, there was like this um, body wash in your shower that smelled like roses, and it was delicious. And like I've been looking online for it everywhere, and I can't find it because I had never heard of this brand before. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's at Whole Foods. And so um, he and my mom went to the store and got this for me. But it is this... this Blah, blah. It is this huge bottle, and it is um, the rose water one. And if you like the smell of roses, you will love this. Like, your body just, like, oh, you smell so good. You literally just smell like a bouquet of roses. Like, who doesn't want to smell like roses? Well, uh, some people probably don't, but love it, love it. Next, another thing actually from my oldest brother, um, he got me this phone case along with another one for Christmas and I have been using this on my phone this whole last month and I just think it's gorgeous. It's starting to peel off a little bit of the gold but um, it has like that really pretty gold accents and it's like this like textured leathery um, pink and I just really love it and it's super cute. Okay, the next thing I have is um, a CD, a music favorite, and this takes a lot for me to say, but it's T-Swift. <sighs> so, we have a love-hate relationship, because when she first came out, and we th with, you know, like, teardrops on my guitar, oh my gosh, loved that when she was, like, actually country, and it was so good, and then she, like, went into, like, it was sort of country, sort of pop, but she still called herself country, and then it kind of just turned into, like, all pop, yet she was still winning, like, country awards, and I was like, mm, didn't really like her, and I was over her. Then this album came out, and holy cow. I'm a fan again, I know, I like hate myself for even saying that, but like I constantly am listening to this CD, and especially like when I work out, and it's just awesome. Um, Style is probably one of my favorite songs on here along with Blank Space, and it's just super great to jam out to and work out to, take a shower to, it's just awesome. Okay, so next favorite is really random, but tagalongs? Okay. Okay, and then my next favorite is actually this journal, and um, I got it from, I think it was Home Goods. It's just really nice. It has like this textured um, cover to it, and just like really pretty on the inside. Sorry, I'm holding all of this up super awkwardly. Um, but it's 
great. I've never really um, journaled before. Like maybe when I was younger I had like a diary which I didn't even write in that much. But um, I got this, I think I got this in like July or August maybe. But um, I only wrote in it like twice and now this month I've been using it a lot more because I really want to go back to journaling because it just really helps you, you know, like write down anything you're thinking and I'm the type of person that likes to write things down instead of like put it on my phone or just like make lists like of, I don't know, really anything. I just kind of write to myself or pretty much whatever I'm thinking. I know it's kind of boring, but um, yeah, I've been really loving this, and it's helping me um, stay sane, I guess. Okay, so my last favorite for this month are these shoes. Like, holy guacamole. Sorry, I'll show you the heel. They are, wow, ju they're just perfect. I got them for New Year's Eve, I believe. Um, for my dress, which I ended up wearing with another dress right before then. I think it was for the groom's dinner or something. But I have been loving these shoes, and I just love the simplicity of an ankle strap. I think it's just super flattering to your feet, and just a pointed toe you really can't go wrong with. It's just super classic, and just is so beautiful. And this is... The line Vince Gamuto, Gamuto. Sorry, I probably butchered that. But I just got them at DSW. I had some gift cards, so I only had to spend like $4 of my own money. Woo! But yes, I have been absolutely loving those shoes, and I'm so happy I purchased those because they have gone with so, so much. Also, some movie favorites of this month. Let's see, I saw a few in theaters. Um, over Christmas break, I did see Into the Woods, so good. Um, I saw Wild, and then I also saw in theaters American Sniper, which, holy guacamole, it was so good. I'm usually not a person to like, really like, oh yeah, I wanna go see like an action, like war movie, like totally not, but like, Bradley Cooper, whoa, I'm in love with him, so that was enough incentive for me to go, and um, I was actually really interested in the story, and I went to go see it with my brother here in Oklahoma, and I absolutely loved it. Hit me right in the feels, Whew. wow, just made me walk out and be like, America. I know it sounds so dumb coming out of my mouth, but yeah. So I really, really like that movie. And then I've also been watching a few of the Oscar-nominated movies. I saw um, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and that's hilarious. Oh, and then I watched um, The Theory of Everything. Wow, that is a good movie. And the acting is just phenomenal, so I highly recommend that movie. And then also um, The Imitation Game. And those are pretty much all the movies that I've seen this past month and slightly towards the end of December, but I really enjoyed all of those movies and I highly suggest that you check those out. And that is actually it for my January favorites. I know I actually did not have like any makeup at all, but these were just kind of like a bunch of random favorites. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you give it a thumbs up, or you know, I guess you could give it a thumbs down, but please don't. Um, and please subscribe down below. I would absolutely love it. And then you can see some more videos. I hope to be posting more, but like I said, being in school, it is kind of hard to, you know, balance doing homework, and then I want to post. So it's kind of hard, but I'm going to try my best. And I also plan on doing a Valentine's Day look. Hopefully before Valentine's Day, that's the goal. <laughs> but hopefully I'll get that up for you guys on Friday. And I think I'm going to do a collab with my good friend Katie Vosco. She's a YouTuber as well. So look out for that, and I will hopefully see you guys very soon. Bye.